Hello everyone. Welcome to Friday with Dowler Talks. My today's presentation is about the case of a child suffering from epilepsy. Basically, this case has two parts. The part one was earlier presented, and part two will be now. The important topic of this case is review and susceptibility analysis that we will be discussing in this case. Objectives of my case is disease evolution, unbiased observation, demands of timely actions, importance of review, and differentiation of homeopathic remedies. The case was taken in 28-10-2016. At that time, child was 7 years and 8 months old. The father 32 years old, mother 34 years old. Prajapati committee, patient is from Rajkot. The father has a brick manufacturing unit at Morbi, which is 65 kilometers away from Rajkot. If you look at the disease evolution, there were three important causes, positive factors, prenatal, parental, and postnatal. Now, prenatal causes, mother was in stress during the entire period of pregnancy. Perinatal causes, the birthing process was prolonged. The force of delivery, delivery, delayed birth cry, postnatal causes. The child developed neonatal jaundice, hypoglycemia, cyanosis, and anemia. Now, all these had a deep impact on the growth of a child. So, we observed poor growth, walking was delayed, difficulty in writing. And the first sign regarding this disease entity, the child developed at the age of four years and eight months. It was a blackout, dizziness, and then he fell down. And then after, a complete form of epileptic convulsion developed, which is continued till 28 October 2016 when patient came to us. Generalized tonic chronic convulsions with involuntary urination and swelling from mouth, jerks, poor grip to hold things, inspired stridor, blackouts, and sometimes poor orientation. Now, all these were partially better with anti convulsion drugs. The important thing I observed during the entire interview was a lot of drowsiness and sleepiness. The child continuously slept over. If you look at the investigations, EEG and MRI confirmed the diagnosis of remote symptomatic focal epilepsy, which is secondary to neonatal hypoglycemic brain insult. Four anti-epileptic drugs were continued, epilepsy, lemes, zonegram, and nitravet. Now we look at the person diagnosis, how the child's attributes are or the qualities are. Physically, he is fearful. There was elements from fright. There were fears, various fears, fear of dark, fear of being alone, and fright from loud noise. Along with these other qualities of the child are he is introvert, he is very angry, he used to hit his peers, he, there was sleepiness, dullness, drowsiness, aversion to milk, the child was obstinate, restless, aversion to sweet, ice cream, and thermal state was hot. The parents said child snows during sleep, so that was taken as a PDF and the CR, OPM was selected. And in Natram, uh, in DD, Natram was kept in mind. Because the presenting state was of opium. But we also had thought of natrum mule at the same time, uh, considering other factors that it may be needed in the further course of the treatment. Miasmatic analysis, fundamental miasm, psychosis and tubercular both has a lot of entries to depict about this miasm. Psychosis, there were wards, depression, asthma, breathlessness. Now, if you look at the tubercular miasm, mother, maternal uncle, maternal grandfather all had tuberculosis. Father, paternal grandfather, and diabetes mellitus with nephropathy. Sora and syphilitis have one word entry, but the fundamental miasm, psychosis, three tuberculosis, tumor, tubercular tumor, sora, and second. Now, dominant miasm, we had jerks, spasm, dullness, drowsiness, sleepiness. And these were enough to nominate, these are enough to label the dominant miasm as a psychosis. The treatment was started OPM 200, 1M. It was started on 28 October 2016. So we uh, took the five follow ups which summarize the, the entire uh, management. 
So on 28th, we started OPM 201M, 201 powder, then 3 powder, then 1M infrequently, then 1 powder for 2 weeks. With this, the response was conversion gradually decreased and then disappeared. So by the 2071, the conversions were not there. We could successfully withdraw the Lemage and Zonagram. On 12th May 2017, in the second column, till 31st 7, 2018, total eight doses of opium were given. Sebril was uh, Sebril was switched off. Sebril we could withdraw. Now on 31st 7, 2018 to 20. To October 2019. If we look at this column, if we look at these follow ups, you see all anti convulsions were stopped from 19th January 2019. 19. So that, that time you can say almost uh, two and half year it took to stop all the anti convulsion drugs. But opium 1A was infrequently continued. Now, after stopping of all the anti convulsion drugs, the first time, 11 months later, first time on 5th December 2019, the child develops jerks, eyes rotating, blackouts. But mother said it could be because of the child had lost his pets for three days and that might have triggered. So relapse occurred. There were a lot of entries into the tubercular miasm and as far as the fundamental miasm is concerned. So I switched to TUB1M and then OPM1M. Now, during the period of 21st December to 3rd January 2020, during this one month period, the jerks continued, blackouts continued and falling down continued. But on 3rd January, the child developed attack of seizure, complete attack of seizure, classical attack of seizure. Opium 1M was given during this period, opium 1M was used, then 1 powder, then 3 powder and 10M also was used because opium was the medicine which could successfully withdraw all the drugs, anti-epileptic drugs, convulsions are stopped since two years and half, two and a half years. So after this much time, the relapse has occurred. So that was a right time, right time to call for a review. But the review of what and what basis? The before reviews are clinical thinking, but what ground we will be reviewing the case? We will review the clinical thinking, susceptibility, remedy response, action, projection, and expect expectations, and retrospection. On this basis, it was to be done. So, review was done on 13th January 2020. First, parents were interviewed, data obtained, but unfortunately, I didn't find any change in the totality. So, old CR, which I decided at that first time during of case taking natrum mure, which was again coming in the totality. We will next slide we will see the repertorization of natrum mure. So natrum mure 200 used in ODS, then BDS, but unfortunately no change. So PM is used, natrum mure is used, but no change. Now what to do? So finally, on 25th February, I called upon the child and took his interview, and the following informations are obtained. Now we'll see the how the uh, uh, what comes in the review, which type of data as we could gather. The basically the child was dull in comprehension. Due to this, he was lagging behind in completing his homework, incomplete homework, and these led a teacher that one day teacher scolded him. He punished the child, tuition teacher. Now, after punishment. The child started remaining vexed. He developed hatred feeling for tuition teacher. He used to remain absorbed in a, in a such kind of thoughts like I would take revenge, revengeful thoughts. He started making plans, various plans to hate the teacher. Now, this was something unusual that I, I didn't observe in other patients of uh, uh, this age in epileptic uh, convulsions or, or other illnesses. That you may have hatred feeling for others, but specifically, or characteristic of hatred feeling is the child would make plans to take revenge. In two, three follow-ups, he used to speak, but I didn't notice. But this time, when child told me that I made some, I made some plans to uh, hit the teacher to take revenge. One day, I'll definitely take the revenge. So on this basis, I 
took the totality elements from punishment hatred plants revengeful convulsions after punishment now you see the repatriation table the first repatriation is of a 31st 13th january 2020 and in that repatriation you see the netram mule comes on the top where i had taken the interview of parents and on that ground i used the netram mule but no response on 25th feb i added one rubric into that into the earlier totality and that was plans revengeful along with the and revengeful i added this final characteristic of revengeful ideas and made a cross repatriation the remedy popped up was agricus agricus 200 was started fortunately agricus with agricus response was very good gradually convulsions uh, uh, decreased and then disappeared convulsion completely disappeared in span of 2 months but after 2 months the agricus stoned the earlier three powder than daily ods was used but after 2 months the one day father said it was a lockdown period father said convulsion restarted and in last 15 days they noticed seven times it occurred they occurred and one time it was with a tongue bite so i asked why this has happened what is the reason i was trying to find the cause father said it could be because of hot weather scorching heat was there um i was not fully convinced but uh, i i was i wanted to use agricus 1m it was not there in with me in my rack i ordered but it was not available so with the father understanding i used glonoing no change next time mother came he she shared some other story that the dog has growled and uh, dog ran behind in child got frightened and that might have precipitated the condition so stramonium was used no again no change on 25th may there was another story that there were eruptions and they used local applications so sulfur one m was used no change 17th june 2020 now that means uh, after uh, almost 3 months 3 to 4 months they were frustrated like anything all the family was in tension because not a single hour they leave can they can leave the child because every now and then they have noticed that if we if they leave the child child would fall down and we will get injured so that kind of convulsion used to occur so agar uh, on 17th june 2020 they consulted a pediatric neurophysician and he advised to start with the old anti convulsion drugs but they were a bit hesitant and they had some faith in homeopathy because earlier treatment was much 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 uh, uh, helpful to them so they came to me and this was the time that god helped me that i could avail agricus 1m and i straight away told them that you please wait give me give me a month or two will be able to recover i used a prescribed agricus 1m initially one powder then three powder per week and then one powder for two weeks since then convulsions started uh, decreasing and then stop within very short time convulsions stop so you can see from 17th june 2020 till day that is on 21st 8 2021 not a single convulsion not a single symptom appeared convulsion absolutely stopped there were no blackouts no any sign of symptoms related to epilepsy so this was the response of agricus 1m so that is why we uh, the, the heading of this case uh, the topic is susceptibility analysis now you see the investigations eg report carried out on 17th june 2020 and it was showed bilateral posterior epileptic form abnormalities psychological assessment was done mental age of the child was 7 years and 10 months and iq was 72 borderline intelligence learning derived after review uh, the relapsing nature of disease that was a clinical thinking and a susceptibility decrease remedy response was partial opium and that is why the complaints recurred and that is why agricus was needed the review was done with the we found the change in the totality and we found the change in the drug so with these expectations that convulsions should cease and that has ceased also but with 200 potency it remained for some time later again reappeared 
so until one m did not uh, enter into the system complaints continued so now we will differentiate the last part of this presentation we will differentiate both the remedies at mental level at the children level and epileptic level opium both the patients are frightful and fearful in both of them you will find ill effects of fear and fright but in opium there is a fear of uh, sight accident dark death and fear remains after fright in agricus fears something will happen and misfortune both are angry both remains vexed in opium elements from anger and vexation with anxiety fright and shock while in agricus elements from suppressed anger the important thing which uh, which should catch our attention in opium they make gigantic plants and in uh, agricus they make revengeful plants now if you see the uh, differentiation at the level of child both are audacious both are courageous but in agricus there is a you will find developmental delay they are slow in learning to walk and talk but in opium higher faculty of child is lessened now the last part at the level of epilepsy how do they differ from each other in opium agrica in opium elements from anger fright or insult while in agricus convulsion starts after being scolded or punishment or vexed in opium convulsion from rage with sudden and loud cries in agricus convulsion from reproaches with arms weak and without vigor in opium sleepy after epilepsy in agricus epilepsy aggravates in sleep with some other minor features differentiation at the level of convulsion so here the case is completed i should say a lot of thank to kumar sir bipin sir anup sir for giving me an opportunity to share my experience on this platform dr sunita being a wonderful mentor and guide and without her support this presentation would not have been possible dr kiyur bukharia for his wonderful technical support and radhika asher for being an observer and assisting me in preparing this presentation thank you thanks a lot